everyone, uh, this is Luke from SFBTS6 and this is my video for ICU 2022. So, truth. So I want to start with truth um, because when did it become such a thing that people decided what other people's truth was, what other people's stories were true or not? When did it become that so many people can decide that um, a young person or a parent or somebody is, is lying or not always telling the truth or telling us what we want to hear or um, com disguise compliance. When did it become such a thing that so many become so conscious of other people's truth and thought they understood or knew what that was without just trusting them? When did that become a thing? And when did that become a thing so much that they knew so much about everyone else's and stopped realizing what they were doing in their practice, stopped realizing the way in which they were treating people and acting towards people and taking away their ability to just tell you something and then you take it on as the meaning that it was given when they told you. When did that become a thing? So for all those people that forget forget the essence of what it is to be in a position where you're talking with people or people are talking with you and they are sharing things with you, that may not always be totally accurate, but for that moment in time, is exactly what that person wants you to know or wants to tell you. For all those people that forget where they are and what they're doing and begin to judge and assess and decide on someone's truth or what is and isn't true and start to tell people they lie and tell other people that this person lies, I see you. And so and told to all the young people who are at risk and in their communities and they're being exploited and being groomed and all those things and then other people don't trust what is happening to them or don't believe in what's happening to them or don't ask them or don't even bother to take notice of what's happening to them, I see you. And to all those young people where other people have stopped make rearranging that session, they have stopped making that call, they have stopped texting, they have stopped checking in, they have stopped making that first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth call, because on the tenth call you can get through. For all those people that have stopped that and for all those young people that aren't getting that deserved effort and attention, I see you. And to all the systems and processes and things that don't properly protect our young people and to all the young people and teenagers and young adults and the friends and their families on both sides of violence and issues and risk and harm and everyone that is affected and hurt and that stays with them forever, I see you. And so lastly, to all the people that still hold on to hope and hold on to belief and hold on to the ability that everything can change and we can do anything and anything is possible and that the young people we see and endlessly meet and talk with and see always can surprise us and prove us wrong and prove that we know that they can do anything and they can achieve anything and that things can change and they can do whatever they set their mind to and that actually all we have to do is be there and trust and believe in them and have that hope and pass on that hope. I see you to all of those people. And very, very lastly, I shout out to Kendra who is setting up and doing and another year of ICU 2022. Um, my friend, a fantastic thing. Check out her stuff and Kendra, I see you too. Thanks very much. See you next year.